All right, guys, we're gonna use an old pair of Air Force Ones for this because we're gonna be doing some heavy duty hole punching. First step is to remove our laces. Laces removed, now it's time to jump right into creating big enough holes for our rope laces. So one fast and easy way to do this would be to use a drill with an attached piece that's big enough to create a sizable hole, but it's a little intimidating and very easy to mess up your shoe if not done properly. So we're going to use an easy, cheap, and error-proof method for this video. With that being said, we're going to bust out our leather hole puncher, which does exactly as it suggests, punches holes into leather. It's pretty inexpensive and has this rotating wheel of different size pieces for larger or smaller holes and I guarantee if you're into making custom shoes or leather pieces you'll have other uses for this thing in the future so if you're questioning if this is worth a buy it definitely is so all we have to do is create a series of holes around each lace hole to create a big enough space for a rope you might need to put in some elbow grease to punch through the leather but ultimately it's not too difficult if I can do it you can too trust me remove any excess leather you punched off and just keep creating holes holes until you feel the space is large enough. One thing I noticed that will make this a lot easier is removing the inner fabric from the laces portion. The hole puncher has a hard time cutting through the fabric, so it's best to remove it just for ease. I take an X-Acto knife and create a slit down the middle, then kind of slice the piece off to make a more workable surface. Now that we've removed the fabric, it's going to be immensely easier to punch our holes in. Some of these punches are going to feel smooth like butter. Another thing I want to mention is don't worry how sloppy the hole looks. Once you put the open, you're not going to be able to see the mess we created at all. Once you finish punching your holes, you can use an X-Acto knife to kind of clean around the area, make them more circular, or shape them however you want. This step is optional. I didn't really put much time into this because the rope is pretty much going to cover them, but it's up to you. Now we're ready for our rope. The size I'm using is 10 millimeters in thickness, but you can go for 8 millimeters if you have a smaller size shoe. Also, I'll be sure to link below where I got this. So we're just going to grab a pretty long piece and cut it where we need to. You can use the old shoelace to measure the exact length against the rope if needed. Since we have this frilly end, we're going to place some tape around it in order for it to pass through the hole easier and keep the strands of the rope together. Now is the moment of truth. If you made your holes large enough, the rope should pass through them pretty easily. If not, it's totally okay. You can grab your hole puncher again and expand the holes as much as needed. All right, after lacing, you'll be left with these long pieces, and since we don't want to tie the laces, we're just gonna cut them pretty short so they dangle across the sides of the shoe. Try cutting them above the sole so they don't drag on the floor when you're walking. And lastly, to seal the end and make it more appealing, we're gonna add some shrink tubing with glue inside to attach to the end of the laces. Make sure you get a shrink tube that matches the thickness of your rope. So for me, I'm going with 10 millimeter tubing. We just need to place the tubing at the end of the lace and cut where we need to. The glue inside is activated by heat, so it's best to use a lighter for it to actually shrink and wrap around the lace. I didn't have one on hand, so I just used a heat gun to sort of activate the glue, but it ended up not really shrinking down, and that's totally okay because it still looks fine to me. And since we have these holes in place, you can get really creative and put some other funky type of laces in as well. Feel free to have fun with this project and get as creative as possible. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time.